Hi, I'm Dan Petschow, and I'm part of the NIU Rover team. The project is to build and fabricate a simulation Mars rover. Tasks include autonomous travel, astronaut assistance, tool delivery, and a soil sample collection. All the mechanical components on the rover itself have been machined in-house. Everything was done by us five. One of the important aspects of this is we didn't have this outsourced. We actually did all of the machining ourselves. Everything from the water jet, the mill, and the lathe. SolidWorks was used to model the entire rover to ensure manufacturability. Channeling Curiosity, we implemented a rocker bogey suspension system capable of scaling 60 degree slopes on both the rocker and bogey side. We finalized the rocker bogey design by importing our CAD models into ANSYS Workbench to conduct finite element analysis to obtain expected equivalent stresses acting on our stainless steel suspension. We chose stainless steel because of its durability and non-corrosive properties. However, we had to sacrifice a good portion of the weight limit. To reduce weight where you would normally be found in a typical spring suspension system, the decision was made to incorporate some kind of dampening effect within the wheel itself. We use leaf springs found in the suspension systems of remote-controlled cars. The springs are attached regularly from our custom-made aluminum wheel hubs to the outer shell made from 24-gauge galvanized steel. We included an aluminum disc that acts as a mechanical stop, uh, which prevents the leaf springs from deforming too much, um, and also acts as a sort of crumple zone. In total, each wheel is just over three pounds. The wheel design is definitely a solid part, but it's only one of the key features of this rover to look out for. The five degree of freedom arm allows us continuous rotation about the shoulder and the wrist joint, as well as tilting, elbow extension, and wrist rotation. The system is designed around both spur gear and belt pulley drive systems with a continuously rotating gripper. The basis of this gripper is a worm, and around that worm are four central worm gears. You can see them here, the bronze gold color. The main benefits behind using a worm gear mesh is that it allows us to maintain the position of the gripper even when the motor is empowered, thus maintaining our grip on whatever object is currently in the gripper. Additionally, it allows all four fingers to open and close at approximately identical rates. I included force analysis to ensure that we had the appropriate grip force. In addition to that, we did all of the analysis on the gears that are being utilized to ensure that we didn't exceed their maximum safety ratings. The control software is written in Python running on an Odroid XU4 using local TCP sockets to maintain GPIO control. UDP communication over 2.4 GHz radio allows camera streaming over the point-to-point -point connection. We are using Ubiquiti Rocket M2 radios. At the base station, we are articulating a Ubiquiti sector directional antenna. The antenna will position itself to align to the GPS coordinates of the rover. Rover side, we are using the Ubiquiti 2.4 GHz omnidirectional antenna so that articulation is not required on board. The UDP communication script accounts for loss of or corrupted packets allowing operation at range even with loss of line of sight. With this communication system, we have no trouble sending and receiving data to a tested 550 meter distance. We're very excited to see this competition for the first time and attend in Utah. Uh, we want to meet the other teams, see other people's design processes and how they came to meet the same challenges that we're trying to meet right now. Our team has been able to make it thus far with the help of our advisor, Dr. Salahinia, with the shop manager, Mike Reynolds. And then also guys that work here in the shop at Northern Illinois University. The club actually started by designing and selling t-shirts to the NIU College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. That's how we raise the funds to support our travel expenses. NIU is used to doing a lot with a little, and I think we have been able to really maximize our potential off of being a brand new team. We as a cohesive unit are able to participate in, in competition with you know, some teams that are 30, 40, 50 members strong. Thanks for your consideration. I hope to see you in Utah.